for a long time have been trying to work out who I am and where I fit. We're going to meet a man who's living proof of the power of mind over matter. Do you like that? You're aiming to be the first blind person to get to the South Pole. He was the essence of happiness. There's this guy who can't see and he's just in love with the world. It's my 10th anniversary of going blind. Going to the South Pole really marked the journey that I'd been on from zero confidence to being able to deal with it and move on. You gotta do these things in life because you never know what will happen. I remember looking, it was like almost in slow motion, just seeing Mark falling down. My phone rang. Mark's had an accident and he has hurt his back. A lot of people just die and that for, was on the cards. He was in absolute pain, wanting this to stop. He can't feel or move his body below his stomach, and that's horrific. I can look at this in two ways. I can either hope and seek out a cure, or I can spend my life getting on and living my life. You're the best. <laughs> He's realised the voice that he has and his ability to move people. If I just sat in my wheelchair, I'd be giving up completely. We can change the physiological properties of the spinal circuitry to generate these movements. I was saying to him, your next adventure is this. I feel like an explorer operating on the frontiers of what's possible. Thank you.